Moin sehen. Ich habe mir letztens mal die neuen Sachen von Azitec angeguckt und hatte vorher dazu noch gar nichts gesehen. Oh boy. Hier kommt meine Reaction dazu. Sind wir mal kurz gespannt, was wir zu erwarten haben. Hello everyone, my name is Andre. I'm the founder and the CEO of Acetech. Today is a big day. Jetzt schon, tut mir leid, muss ich sagen, sympathisch. Sehr sympathische Stimme. Oh, drei Bollermänner haben wir. Because today we are finally going to launch our wheelbases. Oh, uh, wir sind Frontbauen, oder? It has been... Uh crazy couple of years and uh, more or less exactly two years ago I had the first contact with Granite Devices about potentially acquiring some of their IP because Asetech wanted to get into the wheelbase market. Ah, ich sehe schon eine Kleinigkeit, die eventuell nicht so cool sein könnte. Das sieht nämlich aus wie ein Ökosystem wie bei Fanatec. Hm? Weil die haben nämlich vorne einen Connector dran. Der Quick Release sieht gut aus. Uh, since then, we have come out with several sets of pedals. We have, uh, Hier seht ihr den Connector? Uh, das könnte eventuell bedeuten, dass wir Third-Party-Wheels da nicht wirklich betreiben können. Oder nur mit Adapter. Ah, okay, mal Developed, uh, as you can see in front of me, three different wheelbases. And, uh, That's what I'm going to talk about uh, today. Before doing that, I would like to say thank you to uh, a couple of people. First of all, uh habt ihr das Mounting System gesehen? Moment. Oh. Man kann also den Deckel runterschrauben und schraubt den Deckel wieder drauf. Das heißt, es gibt vielleicht Ersatzdeckel. Oh, Asitec hat vielleicht mitgedacht und es, man kann dann doch Third Party Wheels ranbauen, weil wenn man den Deckel abmacht. Oh. Okay. Asitec war vielleicht fünf Head. Mal gucken. And uh, that's what I'm going to talk about uh, today. Before doing that, I would like to say thank you to uh, a couple of people. First of all, uh, my team. It has been crazy. We will get back to that a little bit. To actually manage to pull this off, I would say in one year, because the first year we spend on pedals, and then we've had this year to, to focus on wheelbases. And then of course I would like to say thank you to all the supportive users who bought our pedals. Hi. Danke. Hab ich gern gekauft. <laughs> As a brand new brand, brand new company to the Sim Sports world. Uh, schöne Grüße gehen da übrigens raus an der Stelle an Dan Suzuki, okay? Ich habe die nur gekauft wegen Dan Suzuki. Also falls Azitec, falls ihr irgendwie, ne, Dan Suzuki. Also guter Mann. So thanks for putting your trust in us. And uh, before we go to pricing or everything else, I would just like to say that, yes, of course, there will be a quite nice financial bonus to the customer who actually believed in us and purchased our pedals and now want to purchase our wheel and wheel. Bitte? B bitte? Basis. So with that out of the way, we have three bases here. Some of you have seen some of it from previews and from trade shows. So first we have the Forte wheelbase here. It's 18 Newton meters. Alter, was? Die kleinste hat 18 Newton meter? So quite a strong uh, wheelbase. Here we have the Invicta wheelbase. That's 27 Newton meters. So that's basically from IndyCar and below. Uh, this this uh, guy here can handle uh, pretty much everything. And then here we have the La Prima wheelbase. That's our entry level. That's 12 Newton meter. So ah, okay, good. Oh, okay. <laughs> ich wollte gerade sagen, Alter, what the fuck? <laughs> It's not a cry. Schön 18 Newton meter entry level. Gegönnt. Schön 18 Newton meter. 18 Newton meter. For an entry level it's not wheelbase, I would say it's still uh, quite strong. When we do the segmentation, we try not to, let's say, uh, take out quality, uh, take out important stuff. So what you'll see on all these wheelbases is they share... Bam! Bam! Twitch Prime. It's not a crime. 
So it means no matter which product in our portfolio uh, you pick, you actually get the same resolution. You get the same high quality electronics. As you can also see. Das ist, äh, oh, das ist Angriff, Chat. Also, oh, 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 da wird angegriffen. Here on the Forte, we have four LED strips. Same as with our pedals. On the Invicta, we have six LED strips. And then uh, on the La Prima, we have zero LED strips. So that's some of the features we've taken away to hit a much lower price point. But the quality in the driving, the experience is exactly the same. Okay, also LED strips wegnehmen. Ja. We did a partnership with Miege, who is very well known in the sim sports uh, area, as you already know. Um, and then we started to design the motor uh, from our liking and from what we wanted. If I take the core of, uh, of the motor here, you can see everything is, uh, is metal. All vital parts are metal. We have a high quality slip ring. And when I say high quality, I mean it. We have tested it for more than 200 million activations and still without a loss in fidelity in, in terms of the USB signal. Here we have the 22-bit encoder. And then we have our PCB. So everything on these wheelbases in terms of quality is exactly the same. The difference is the strength and then a little bit on the features. So the Invicta and the Forte, they both have five USB ports uh, in the back. So you can uh, connect your uh, Invicta or Forte pedals. Uh, you can connect uh, future ACTEC or third party uh, peripherals. Oh, wow. Okay, das ist ein Game Changer. Also wenn man, uff, wenn sie sich nicht verschließen vor Third Party, ist das schon, das ist eine Ansage. Whereas on the La Prima, uh, there is only a connection to the PC. You can put in a USB hub here and then have the same uh, functionality. But in, in terms of uh, shipping from our side, uh, it's been defeatured a little bit um, to hit the price point you would like to hit. Okay so is. another unique feature about our uh, La Prima series and, and also the Forte to some extent is that, that we, uh, we make these, um, let's say, uh, stage kits where you can actually upgrade your wheelbase. You buy a new PCB, you buy a new power supply, and you buy the LED strips, and then boom, you have a Forte wheelbase. Okay, yeah, good. Speaking of upgrades, <coughs> I know a lot of you are interested in console uh, compatibility. And uh, we are not at a stage now where I can say that these are console compatible. Because yeah. either we have it the official way or we don't have it. What you do at home is, is fine with us, of course, but we cannot go out and say we support consoles when it's a hack uh, at the end of the day. But we are actively working on it. I cannot say when we are when we are done, because in brutal honesty, that's also up to uh, to Sony and to Microsoft. So so that's the why the way we look at that. Oh, sag mir bitte, dass das alles Metall ist. Bitte, Asetek, sag mir, dass das Metall ist und kein Plastik. Bitte, dass das Ding komplett aus Metall sei, kein Plastik. Bitte Metall, bitte alles, alles Metall. If you look at the Forte and the Invicta, you have both a power on button and you have a torque off button. Whereas uh, on the La Prima, you only have the power button. <coughs> If you wish to upgrade later with the torque off, you can do that. But we believe with 12 Newton meter, torque off is not really an uh, essential feature. These, uh, these buttons, you can either mount them directly on your rig or you can mount them on some of, uh, on some of our mounts as well. If you look at any of these uh, motors here, there are T-slots built in to the motor itself. So when you get it from us, there will be T-slot nuts already pre-mounted. So if you have a rig like that, uh <laughs> Könnte ein bisschen knapp gewesen sein. Or you want to drill in your table, you can do it. However, we have a variety of mounts. So let me try to go uh, through them. What we have here 
is uh, what we refer to as a table mount. Of course, you can mount it on a rig as well, but as you can see here, it can mount on a table. This is a, a really, uh, let's say, simple and cost-effective way of uh, mounting everything. We also have side mounts. If you have a rig where you have the profiles coming from the side, we have made them like this. So the Thank you very much. Endlich mal jemand, der mitdenkt. Und du kriegst alles auf einmal gekauft, was du brauchst. Thank God. Endlich hat mal jemand mitgedacht und nicht so, ja, nach uns die Sinnflut, sollen die Leute mal gucken. Danke. The idea is that you screw from your rig into this, there's M8 threads here, or the other way around, and then you attach the motor to these brackets, and then the motor will still be able to slide back and forth in the side mount. And if you use this bracket, you can take it off or you can use it. But if you use this bracket, you actually also have tilt in the mount. Then we have uh, what we call a bottom mount that can be mounted on your table or it can be mounted on the table mount if you want that as well. But pretty simple again, you mount it under the, under the motor. The motor can slide back and forth. And if you use these uh, inner brackets, you can take them off or you can use them. If you use the inner ones, you also have tilt. So there's pretty much tilt function in all of them. I have saved, I think, for most of you. Yeah, that's is das, was ich sehen möchte. Uh, the best to the last, and that is uh, our front mount. To mount this, you simply take off the quick connector. You take off the front piece. You put on oh, das sieht so geil aus, ne? the mount, put in four bolts, put on the cover again, uh, slide this in, and then you have it. And it's very elegant where you can see the ribs and everything from the motor goes to the, goes to the front face here. And uh, you're not required to, but it's actually possible to take the mounts from the button boxes off. So you don't need the mount, and then you mount your buttons directly. Ich küsse dich. Da hat sie, das Ding ist halt, das ist ein riesiger, also ich weiß, ich kenne den Preis, Preispoint noch nicht, ne? Aber das ist ein riesiger Angriff, also wirklich ein sehr positiver Angriff auf die Konkurrenz, weil das ist so klug, was sie gemacht haben. Also wirklich, da sa saß jemand, der sich Gedanken gemacht hat und das ist richtig, richtig, richtig klug. Weil damit verkaufst du mir gerade das Ding, obwohl ich schon was habe. Uh, into the face of the front mount. All in all, we have four or five different mountain option, uh, mounting options and I think I can't really imagine a scenario where you would not be able to, uh, to mount these. And when we, when we ship it from our factory, you get it as the base motor where you can mount it from the bottom, slide it back and forth. And if you want anything else, you can pick and choose between all these uh, different mounting options. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the quick release a little bit. Yeah. When we built these and when we designed them, it was a, a monumental thing for me not to have the wires. We don't want to be depending on wires flapping around. We don't want to uh, be depending on a Bluetooth uh, signal that can potentially drop off. And we also realized that being locked into someone's ecosystem can be a little bit annoying. <lacht> das ja, also tut mir leid, aber das, äh, ihr schmiert mir ja richtig Zucker auf die Schnute. So the way we have tried to solve this with our quick release is actually to open it up to other steering wheel uh, manufacturers. Let me just show you for a, for a second how it works. You slide on the wheel, then it's mounted, and then you take it off again. Hey, das ist ja mal ein Quick Release, wirklich ein Quick Release. So it's very easy. You have the USB connection, you have the power connection, you have everything uh, through this simple no play uh, connector. So if we start with our flagship model, the Invicta, uh, that wheelbase is 1499.99 euros or dollars, 27 newton meter, super high resolution, super low latency, 
really a, a great wheelbase. If you go one step down and say, I think 18 Newton meter is sufficient for me, this is a 999 dollar wheelbase. That is really a great value for a wheelbase okay. of Mach this mal caliber. Okay, jetzt. If we move to the left and say, okay, what about the 12 Newton meter La Prima? That will actually only be offered as a bundle directly from Acetec. And that bundle will consist of a La Prima steering wheel that we will cover in another video. It will consist Porter. of La, La Prima pedals that okay. we'll also cover in another video. But the great thing is all these three things together, $1,349.99. Was zum Fick? <lacht> Was? Dollars or Euro for a top-notch, high-resolution, high-strength quality wheelbase. What we will be offering is any customer that bought a set of Asetec SimSports pedals prior to the shipping date of these will get a $200 gift card to our web shop. Das heißt, für mich ist die Wheelbase sogar noch günstiger. And that is independent of whether you order your wheelbases or, and wheels with a, a reseller or if you do it in our webshop directly. If you buy a wheelbase and a wheel and you have the pedals already that you will have to prove with the serial number, you will get a $200 gift card to our webshop. If you want the pedals now, and you buy them now, you will also get it. Ein recht schönen guten Morgen, meine Alter, lieben Fragenfreunde aus nah und fern. Zipfel auf. Alter, was ist das denn für ein Angriff? Also, ich weiß noch nicht, wie sie sind. Ne? Das kann ich jetzt nicht, das kann ich nicht sagen. So, I don't know. Aber das ist ein richtiger Angriff. The day we start shipping, the offer is off. So, we are starting pre-orders uh, this week of the bases and our wheels. La Prima Bundle. And as always, when we do pre-orders, we don't charge your credit card until we actually ship the goods. So that. <lacht> What the fuck? Entschuldigen Sie, wie viel Customer Service wollen Sie in 2022 auf den Tisch legen? Asetec. That's the deal. We open for pre-order. You can place your pre-order, and we will do our very wow. best to give it to you uh, before the end of the year. Wow. Wow. Pff, wann kriegen wir eine Review, wenn ich das mal da haben darf? So, I don't know. Wenn ich das mal besitzen darf. Also ich würde es super, super gerne testen, bin ich ganz ehrlich. Weil Hello everyone. Also es ist wirklich eine Ansage. Es ist, Hello everyone. Es ist äh, wirklich sehr durchdacht. Also es macht jetzt, ich kann immer, ich kann es nur sagen, ich habe es nicht angefasst, ich weiß nicht, wie die Qualität ist. Aber das, was sie zeigen und wie sie sich das durchdacht haben, ist auf jeden Fall eine Ansage. Sie schließen sich, also sie verschließen sich nicht. Ihr Ökosystem ist nicht abgeschlossen. Sie haben sich darüber Gedanken gemacht, dass andere das auch verwenden dürfen, also Third Party. Äh, sie haben nicht irgendwelche unnötigen und sinnlosen Upgrade-Kits drin, sondern schon, du kannst die kleinste Wheelbase zur größten bauen. Da muss man dann natürlich mal gucken, äh, äh, gucken wie das äh, läuft. Und 27 Newtonmeter für 1,4 in Dollar und Euro, 999 für die mittlere und ein Bundle, wo du Pedale, Lenkrad äh, und eine ordentliche Wheelbase für 1,3 hast, ist halt eine richtige fucking Ansage. Weil du kannst halt selbst, wenn du... Also du kannst halt fast nirgendwo so ein Bundle schießen für den Preis, für 1,3 abgefahren. Okay. Hello, my name. Gucken wir noch mal, äh, was sonst noch so kommt. My name is Andre. I'm the founder and CEO of Acetec and today we are going to talk about our La Prima series. Ja. Machen wir. So, let's go to the most interesting. 12 Newton meter motor, high quality pedal set. Same brake as the Forte, 
high quality steering wheel, 1349.99. That's a really great price for a bundle like this. This is real high end specs for an entry level price point. So if we start here in the middle uh, with the pedals, if you compare those to our Invicta or our Forte pedals, they are of the same quality. It's the same materials, it's the same specifications, it's the same strength they can handle. So the quality is exactly the same. You don't have the contrast cutting here. Das ist übrigens alles Metall, Chat, ne? Also das ist wirklich alles, na, nicht Stahl, aber ist Metall. Obviously to save money on our side, you don't have the contrast milling here. Again, to save money on our side and to allow to sell it at a lower cost, you don't have the LED. But other than that, it's the pedal set you know. Looking at a review of the Forte and the Victor pedals and looking at this, it will be more or less the same. There's just a few cosmetic features we have taken away. We also have taken away a little, little bit of functionality. So if you look at what I have here, that's actually the throttle from the Invicta and uh, the Forte. So what we have done instead on these pedals to make them more affordable is that the torsional spring here is stiffer than on the Invicta and on the Forte. So you actually get the same strength. If you want to upgrade, we will have... LOL! Und sie... LOL! Das Geile ist, also was ich wirklich gut finde, ist, dass sie super transparent damit umgehen. Also die sagen dir halt klipp und klar, was da fehlt. Und du kannst das immer noch entscheiden. Wie geil, ey! We have these staged upgrade kits, where you actually can purchase this, mount it yourself, and then you have an Invicta throttle system. While at it, you can actually also upgrade the brake system and say, okay, this is the mechanical version. I would like to try the hydraulic, the Thorpe system from the Invicta. Then you can actually buy a stage kit uh, upgrade from our resellers as well. The thought with the La Prima series is you can get into our ecosystem at a low cost and then you can add features as you can afford to and as you want to. It's also great for the environment that you don't have to throw away all the, let's say, cheaper grade stuff and buy newer high-end stuff. This is true high-end from the get-go, and then you can just add features. Okay. In terms of the clutch, I know some of you uh, think that our clutch is expensive, and it is, but the reason it is expensive is because from our perspective, whether you do a single plate like this, or you do the double plate, the cost is almost the same. But we have actually tried to do a, a low cost uh, clutch now, uh, the La Prima clutch. There's no LED, there's no contrast milling, and then this whole cantilever uh, clutch system is not included. And as before, Margot. if you want to upgrade, You can actually buy an upgrade kit where you get this system. You mount it with four screws and the clevis, and then you get a new wire harness with the LED as well. So you can actually move from the La Prima to a full Invicta uh, clutch system. So, wisst ihr noch, als wir, als wir uns Fanatec angeguckt haben und Fanatec sagt so, ja, kauf dir einfach mal als Upgrade Bundle äh, einen Netzteil. Das hier begrüße ich wirklich sehr. Bin ich ganz ehrlich. Das begrüße ich absolut, wo sie dann sagen, ey, okay, pass auf. Wir haben dir von, also das sieht auch so aus wie meine. Also ich habe ja die ganz großen Pedale von, äh, äh, von Asitec. Das sieht original genauso aus. Du hast zwar den LED-Stripe da nicht drin, aber das ist alles Metall und das ist wertig. Und du kannst dann halt sagen, ey, okay, ich weiß jetzt nicht, was die Upgrade-Kits kosten, kosten. Du, pass auf. Wir haben fairerweise haben wir das rausgenommen, damit wir den Preis senken können für euch und ihr könnt das später noch upgraden. Aber das ist doch mal ein sinnvolles Upgrade-System. Also es ist komplett modular, sie grenzen nichts ein. Äh, du kannst jetzt kaufen, also du kannst ja selbst, du kannst ja jetzt, sagen wir mal, für mich wäre jetzt halt so ein Ding gewesen, ey, okay, Klatsch brauche ich nicht, ich kaufe mir einfach die günstigere Klatsch. So. If we then uh, move our focus a little bit to the, to the wheelbase. What we have here is a true high-spec 12 Newton meter <coughs> uh, wheelbase. 
I don't want to go to all the technical details of it here because we have another video where I'm talking about all our different specs. But let me just go through some of the features. You have a simple mounting in the bottom. There's T-slots, so you can mount it from the bottom. And then you can slide the motor back and forth. We have a variety of mounting options. I think we have five, six different ways of mounting. Along with this guy, we have a, a button box and this button box is basically for turning on and off the wheelbase. There is an optional torque off button. If you feel you need it, you can, you can buy it. I don't need benutz. I don't need benutz. Included in the price, that. of course, is our quick release, where you can just, uh, it's basically like shifting gears, and that's included in the cost. Like on the La Prima pedals, the base can also be upgraded. If you think that 12 Newton meter is not enough for you, you can actually buy an up. Das heißt also, du hast halt, du hast trotzdem den 27 Newton Meter Motor drinne. Das heißt, du hast den qualitativ hochwertigen Motor verbaut. Also daran haben sie nicht gespart, was ich gut finde. Great kit. So what you need? You need another PCB and then you'll get the LEDs and another power supply. Then you have an 18 Newton meter base with LED. Genau. Default This one has one USB port, so you connect it to the PC. And if you want to connect other peripherals, you can mount your own uh, hub here. Whereas if you upgrade, you will get a, a five port USB hub. If we then look at the... E also, genau, von, Entschuldigung, von 12 auf 18, Verzeihung. The steering wheel. In another video, I'm explaining all the details about the steering wheel, all the technical details. This wheel just, ich kann das von der Steuer absetzen, ja. just like on the pedals. Exactly same quality, same great electronics, same great, uh, great buttons, same silicon grips, same grips that you can uh, handles you can actually take on and off and upgrade. <coughs> Everything is the same. What we have done uh, to cut uh, prices on this is we have taken off some thumb wheels and you cannot mount clutches um, and DRS because it has been removed from the PCB. But other than that, you have a, a highly customizable uh, steering wheel. So basically a high grade steering wheel, but at a low cost. As you already may have figured out, uh, the steering wheel here can also be upgraded. So if you want a full spec Forte steering wheel, you can actually, from your reseller, be able to buy a new motherboard for the steering wheel. And when that's installed, then you have a new front face plate carbon, front face place plate. You have the shift LEDs, you have all the thumb wheels, and you will be able to easily Uh, to mount our <coughs> DRS and clutch system, which is as simple as mounting a screw, and then it's there. What you see here is one color combination that we are thinking about. We have actually other buttons and other colors in, uh, in shipping right now, but perhaps the color combination would be a little bit different. But to sum everything up, you get a high-end set of pedals uh, with all the bells of whistles of the, the Forte uh, brake system. You get a high-end wheelbase, 12 Newton meter, and you get a Formula uh, La Prima steering wheel for 1349.99. Uh, of course, going forward, we will come out with more steering wheels. So this was the, the quick and dirty rundown of the La Prima bundle. It will be available for pre-ordering in our web shop uh, this week. We uh, hope and expect to be able to ship it before New Year. I cannot promise that to happen because some of the components are actually on the ocean right now. Uh, but provided we get it in time, we will also ship it in time. Uh, if we will not, then don't worry because we're not charging your credit card. So if you are unhappy at Christmas Eve that I have not been able to give you the, the bundle under your Christmas tree, you can actually go and cancel your orders at no cost to you. Mein Herz ist so erwärmt, dass es noch Menschen gibt, die Kundenservice genauso mögen wie ich. Danke. Danke, dass es solche Menschen und auch Firmen noch gibt. Und ich hoffe, dass das für immer so bleibt. Danke.
Ich hoffe, es bleibt so. Wirklich. Also, ne, man weiß nie. Ich hoffe wirklich inständig, dass das so bleibt. Weil dann habt ihr da draußen alle gewonnen. Dann habt ihr wirklich, ihr habt, ihr habt damit wirklich komplett gewonnen. Das ist eine Ansage. Okay, gucken wir mal noch, was die Wheels sagen. Also optisch sagen mir die Wheels nicht wirklich zu. I'm the founder and CEO of AC And today we are going to talk to you about uh, our brand new steering wheel, the Forte Formula Wheel. What you see here is one color combination. Uh, we are not sure yet whether this will be the shipping combination or not. We are in fact waiting for other colors uh, that are on the ocean right now. Changing them is, is quite simple as you can see. Uh, so that's something we will come back to later, but just... <laughs> yeah, it's good. So you know there will be different uh, color combinations. Uh, as you know, most of you know uh, anyway, is that we are brand new into this space. We launched our pedals earlier this year. And there was a number of things that we would like to accomplish. And it has been uh, quite an engineering task. So one thing we would like to accomplish was the ability to actually change the handles. When you have big hands like me, for example, I like a thicker grip, whereas what we have default is, let's say, more average size. Nee. So it's a 290 millimeter wheel. If you add these, it will be four or five millimeter larger in total diameter. Of course, down the line, we will probably all... Das war das Erste, was ich mir gedacht habe. Puh, die sind ganz schön dünn für meine Bärenhände. Und jetzt kommt, kommt André um die Ecke und sagt, ja, nee, warte mal, wir können auch noch mal die Hände äh, wechseln. Alles klar? Okay. Also have different color combinations, different hardnesses. And of course, uh, everything within SimSports is a, is a preference. So this rubber, we, we believe, is, is soft and, and where it should be. But we could also imagine that at later on that we would add harder robbers or even softer robbers or different shapes. We could do a closed wheel, we could do an open wheel. There's a lot of things we could do. How do we ensure that you can actually, as the end user, uh, mount and dismount the grips numerous times without destroying the threads, etc.? So what we landed on is uh, an injection, injection molded uh, technology It's a carbon composite. There is carbon in, there is glass, and then naturally uh, plastic, of course, uh, to be able to injection mold it. So the chassis of the steering wheel itself is extremely stiff. The texture of the steering wheel will be uh, a forged laser edge carbon structure, so it'll look really cool. But of course, in this, you cannot mount a handle, because if you screw into plastic, Uh, too many times you will you will uh, you will have the challenge of stripping the threads so to add uh, rigidity and the ability to do that we have this uh, let's say uh, spider plate that we put in that's attached to the chassis itself so when you mount the handles you actually screw directly into a metal plate uh, and not into the the carbon or the plastics To look at the features, there's, uh, although this is our mid-range steering wheel because it's our Forte series, we will come with an Invicta series later on. Oh, okay. I can say the main difference will be the display. So everything else will pretty much be the same, but there will be a, a display. So if we look at the basic configuration... Das Geile daran ist, pass auf, <coughs> sobald Plastik an den, an den Schrauben dran ist, sobald Plastik dran ist, fängt das irgendwann an zu knarzen. Also ihr werdet auf Dauer, äh, ihr werdet auf Dauer, wenn ihr fahrt und vier Newtonmeter habt, fängt das Lenkrad an zu knarzen, weil du lenkst halt manchmal nicht gerade, sondern du machst halt auch mal den. Ne? Und dadurch löst sich in drinnen die Schraube und dein Lenkrad beginnt zu knarzen. Dadurch, dass du Metall hast, äh, hast du, wirst du dieses Knarzen wahrscheinlich nicht drinnen haben. Und das ist echt clever. Das ist echt clever, vor allen Dingen, weil sie dabei auch wieder dran gedacht haben, dass man das Forte Wheel auch an eine 27 Newtonmeter Wheelbase ranpacken kann. Ich muss ganz ehrlich sagen, ich finde es persönlich optisch nicht so schön, sage ich einfach mal. Ne? Das wäre jetzt nicht so mein Wheel. 
Aber ich sag mal, für den Preispunkt würde ich mir das, glaube ich, dann auch nehmen. Push buttons. They can obviously be configured as you want. Uh, you have six thumb wheels. You have three encoders. You have what we call kinky switches or small joysticks. So you can twist and turn up, down, sides and you can push it. That's uh, but in the industry, they are actually known as funky switches. The reason we don't use that word is because we do respect other people's IP. And this is what most people know, don't know, a registered trademark of another company. So therefore we call them kinky switches instead of funky switches. But the functionality is exactly the same. You have all the LEDs, you have flag the LEDs, you have the shift uh, RPM LEDs. Everything it can be customized, of course. Then you will get a sheet with all kind of... Ja, das braucht man jetzt nicht unbedingt. Ha! Wer braucht schon Aufkleber? Quatsch, ey! Uh, text on. And then all of this will be backlit. <coughs> so even if you have your, your thumb on a button, you can actually see just above it, what is it this button actually does. Everything can, of course, be uh, customized. Do you want incremental? Do you want absolute? Uh, everything can be customized. So it's an extremely flexible wheel. If we look at the shifters a little bit, it's a little bit the same uh, construction as the steering wheel. This is uh, ultra light, ultra rigid. It's also the carbon uh, reinforced or carbon composite material. If you look at the wheel here, you can loosen one screw and then you can actually slide this in and out to your preference and then you uh, attach it again. It's a fully uh, magnetic shifter and there's no wires or anything like that. You simply just uh, screw it in and then you have it mounted. On the, on the Forte wheel, uh, we will ship with the paddles, of course. Shift you can configure them as you want. Shift and then you are able to upgrade it with, <coughs> let's say, DRS paddles and, uh, and clutch paddles. So now we've seen all the mechanics of it. Uh, Shift In fact, our biggest team in, uh, in Asetech Simsports right now is actually our software team. What's binding everything together is, in fact, the software. So let, let's just try to see in real life uh, how it actually works. And then I've... Uh, dragged in one of my software guys who will give you a little rundown of, of what the software is, uh, the software and the wheel is, uh, is capable of. My name is Kenneth. Uh, I'm the front-end developer Moinsen, Kenneth. on uh, RaceUp, which is a one-stop shop software for a wheelbase, racing wheel pedals and anything else we want to develop in the future. Of course, if you have our pedals already, you probably already know the software. Yes. But I'm here to tell you a bit about Ab gestern upgraded, übrigens. all the new features coming for the wheelbase and racing wheel uh, in the near future. If we take a look at the racing wheel UI, we can see the wheel and the different colors of the LEDs and all that kind of stuff. And in here you can configure your buttons, you know, whatever colors you want, disable a color, you can see it disabled there. And you can also set up your different input modes and stuff. If you go to the shift lights, You can set up your shift lights in different ways. You can choose colors like before. Ah! Or you can set up how they should react to your game. If they should go left to right, center to side. You can really do kind of set it up however you like. And of course, you can adjust brightness levels and stuff like that as well. So it's, it's kind of simple, but we're going for a simple but very usable UI. And if we take a look at the wheelbase UI, here you can set your center. And you can also see which way the wheel is turning just to make sure, you know, things are lining up. And then here you can save your wheelbase settings and reset them if you want. Here you can set up all your torque settings. We have a bunch of presets here, but you can also do your own stuff if you want to and change it to advanced mode. So these are just some of the basic settings you can expect at the beginning when we launch our products. In the future, we, of course, want to expand on everything. And if you have any ideas or, or concepts you want us to explore, please let us know and we'll try and, and implement it if it's, you know, viable. So the wheel... Also ich sage euch so, wie es ist, ne? Wenn ich jetzt nicht schon da drüben so ein Gerät hätte, würde ich jetzt bestellen. Also wenn ich nicht eine Simo Cube hätte mit einem richtig fetten Wheel dran, ne, würde ich das jetzt bestellen. Würde ich. Für den Preis. We are introducing today is, is the Forte wheel. Aber auch nur... Pass auf, aber auch nur, weil ich die Pedale schon habe von denen. But we are actually also releasing another wheel, 
which is the La Prima wheel. It uh, essentially has all the same features. This one is ich wünschte mir, also wirklich, ich wünschte mir, ich hätte dort schon meine, äh, mein test trick stehen. Ich hätte das ganze Ding zu Weihnachten bestellt. Hätte ich. Hey, ja, bitte rück. Uh, lower cost version uh, than the Forte. Uh, and the reason for that is, we have taken away, before of the, the thumb rolls, we have taken away the shift LEDs. But other than that, exactly the same quality, uh, great feeling wheel. You can, uh, on this as well, uh, change the handles. By a simple motherboard upgrade, you can actually upgrade your La Prima steering wheel at a later date uh, to a Forte steering wheel. This wheel is not sold standalone. It will be a part of our La Prima uh, bundle where you get a steering wheel, you get a, a wheelbase and our pedals uh, for only $1,349.99. So the Forte steering wheel will be available for $599.99 and it will be available from our global reseller network and it will be available from our web store and uh preislich auch eine ansage we will open for pre-orders uh, very soon this week in fact i think that's what i want to say about our our steering wheel for now dankeschön andre Also es ist halt wirklich preislich, ist das wirklich eine Kampfansage. <lacht> Wie gesagt, ich, ich möchte extra nochmal betonen, ich habe es noch nicht in der Hand gehabt, okay? Also ich kann wirklich nur das, was ich jetzt hier sehe, als, als Fahrer ähm, kann ich das einschätzen. Und das ist bis dato, ohne also wirklich ohne es angefasst zu haben, ist das eine Ansage. Also ein Formula Wheel mit den Unmengen an Features die es liefert für 500 und ein paar zerquetschte ist wirklich eine Ansage. Das ist eine Ansage. Und das Bundle für 1.3 oder was jetzt jemand vorhin geschrieben hatte im, im Chat, äh, 1285 glaube ich, ist es aktuell im Shop drin. Für eine Wheelbase mit 12 Newtonmetern einen Wheel und annehmbaren Pedalen ist halt wirklich... Also es ist eine Menge Geld, ja. Müssen wir nicht drüber reden. Es ist aber trotzdem eine Ansage. Und du hast die Möglichkeit, alles zu upgraden. Alles. Das ist richtig krass. Ich hoffe, also... <lacht> Ich weiß nicht, ob es möglich ist, aber ich hoffe mal, ich darf das irgendwie in irgendeiner Form mal, mal testen. Das würde ich äh, sehr geil finden. Krass. Du hast es also nun bis hierher wieder geschafft. Großartig. Dann lass mir doch einfach mal ein Like da, ein Kommentar oder einen Daumen runter oder teil das mit deinen Freunden. Oma, Tante, Hund, äh, Katze, mit wem auch immer. Ich würde mich sehr freuen. Bis dann. Hab einen schönen Tag, wa?